Right here. The two? It's the on the back. The two figures below are similar. Find the scale factor of the ratio of the parameters and the ratio of their areas. And it says we're going from small to large. So our end result is a larger image. Um, let's go ahead and highlight a certain piece. Would you agree three is corresponding to nine? Yes? So if I go ahead and go from three to nine, what is the ratio? One to three. One to three. And the way I taught it back in unit eight was, it's either one over three or, ooh, that's not a pretty or, three over one, depending on what your end result is. So our scale factor is denoted by the K value. And scale factor is always a fractional value. So if I go from small to large, which one is my larger fraction for me to write out for the scale factor? Three. three. And you can write three over one, that's perfectly fine. For the ratio of the perimeter, here's what we are going to do. The ratio is basically one to three. It's the same because when I'm looking at the side measures, the perimeter is also um, a side measure as well, if you think about it that way. And then for the area, what would I need to do for the area for every single unit that we write? We write feet squared, centimeters squared, whatever squared. So you take those two numbers and square them, which I get one and nine. So depending on whether I'm asking you for the perimeter or the area, you'll use one ratio versus the other, okay? So let's try example seven with the neighbor. Pick one corresponding part that's consistent. And our end result is still large. How was the AC2? The instruction above says small to large for both. But yeah, um, if you go from right left to right, that's perfectly fine. All right. Any questions on that one? Everyone good with that one? All right. Okay, let's go to example number eight. Stephen, let's read. Two similar polygons have sides six centimeters and fifteen centimeters. The area of a smaller polygon is sixty-eight centimeters squared. Find the area of the larger polygon. Okay, let's go ahead and look at the units given. We have our centimeters given, but what is our final goal? I want to find the area, and area is denoted with centimeter squared. So let's go to six to 15. I have six to 15, and that was centimeters. Now, can I choose to um, reduce that if I want it? Yeah. Okay, when I reduce this, I get how many? Two to five. Two to five? But since I want it to match, what do I need to do with two to five? Square it. I need to square it. So I get four to 25. So we have four over 25 is equivalent to, now I can put in 68 for the smaller number. Four is smaller than 25. So 68 must go on top, X on the bottom. And let's go ahead and cross multiply. That's a big number, huh? Oh, dang it. You guys are, don't, don't look at me. Could we not reduce the other two and then? Which one do you want to reduce? Well, could we not say that half of x times two equal, or never mind, that doesn't make any sense. Let's not do that. Yeah. All right, so when I multiply 25 and 68, that's going to give me 1,700. Now, that's doable, yeah? Yeah. Divide that by four. Let's do your long division on the side. Go for it. What? No, no long division? Oh, goodness. Someone gave it to me. What was it? 425. And since we're looking at the area, let's go ahead and write our units with the squared. Boom. All right. Let's go on to example 9 and 10. And actually, let's do example 9 with the partner. Go. Each side 
So you can go ahead and look at the ratio or take three by five and double that, six to 10 and get 60, all right? What's a red, ready? Radii. Radii? It's a plural form of a radius. Why does it just have two, that seems so weird. Macy, I'm recording. It's ready. Ready, it's radii. All right, Brody, let's read example number 10, last one. Two similar polygons have radii. So we have inches, two inches. Let's write that out. Eight to 12. And that unit is just the inches. Could we go ahead and simplify that to make the number smaller? Divide them both by what? Four. Four. So it'll be two to what? Three. Now, do, do I have to simplify? Absolutely not. So, ne so then let's make sure it matches. For the perimeter. Do I need to change anything about two to three? No. They match, right? So we have two over three is equivalent to the larger polygon has 51. So three is larger than two. So 51 goes on the bottom. Then there's my X. So I have three X is equal to, how many would that give me? 102. 102. And what would our X be? 34. 34. And what is our units? Inches. Inches. Oh, not squared, it's a perimeter.